Hello and welcome again to my vlog. Um, I'm going to try and make this a weekly vlog um, and maybe upload it every Friday. Welcome and a um, few things that I've been up to so far this week. Saturday was pretty much all about packaging up stuff because on Sunday I went to the artist market here in Port Macquarie um, and it was great it, and it was a beautiful day and I had lovely neighbours so that's all that matters. <laughs> uh, no it was lovely and if you came along thank you it was nice to meet you. Unfortunately Saturday I did start to get a migraine. I'm a migraine sufferer. I don't know if you are as well um, but you know, <laughs> if you are, put your hand up. No. Um, yeah, it's pretty nasty. This one hasn't been too bad. I've still got it today, so I'm actually on strong painkillers today. <laughs> so Monday, um, Monday was sort of an admin day. It was a bit of a catch up day. So um, I did things like I have uploaded stuff onto my website. So I'll put that here. I, what else did I do on Monday? <laughs> it was yesterday, that's so long ago. Oh yeah, I went to the bank and I ordered some supplies because this Saturday coming, I have an acrylic pouring workshop that I'm teaching. So also, if you don't know, I run a little business called Port Macquarie Creative and I teach um, art workshops through it. I also did a little bit of work um, for Drawn From Here, which is an exhibition of art journals that I'm organizing for all artists and creatives in Greater Port Macquarie. So, um, so that's been going great. I have, I think now over 40 entries um, and they close at the end of July. So yeah, so that should be really, really good. Um, can't wait for that actually. I, like already people are uploading stuff. So if you wanna have a look at people's work in progress, you just search for um, drawn from here 2018 hashtag on Instagram and you should be able to see their work in progress and I haven't started mine yet so <laughs> so if you're someone that you're wanting to register you haven't registered yet you haven't started yet it's all good um, the exhibition's not until the end of September and the start of October so we have plenty of time Speaking of exhibitions, I have my first solo exhibition the two weeks prior to that in September. Um, have I done any work for it? This one I'm going to be doing some like, character illustrations. So, you know, like the stuff I love doing all the time. So it'll mostly be watercolour, things like, you know, how there was the guinea pig riding on the pogo stick, insert it here. Yeah, so, so things like that. Um, and so I'm gonna do, yeah, a series of guinea pig character designs. And then I'm going to do, I think maybe some cute little birds wearing funny headdresses, just because that's something I've wanted to paint in a while. Um, and I already have, I do already have three paintings because I'm going to continue my fish series. So you know Penny Farthing Fish, who I love, um, and you can now get lapel pins. Yeah, so he's going to be there. He's not for sale. The original is not for sale because he he's mine. Um, but um, and a few of his friends are going to be in there too. So I'm going to continue that series. So that's everything that I'm up to today. So today um, the priority will be um, the artwork I'm doing for my the children's book that I'm illustrating and also I'm going to try and make a start on that Skillshare class because I've been meaning to do it for a while now um, and it, it's not been happening so that'll give me a break from one thing to the other um, that will be today and tomorrow <laughs> Hello, it's Wednesday um, and it's pretty cold today by Port Macquarie standards so um, it's now just gone 1240 and I've been working on my um, illustrations for the children's book all morning. Quick peek! Hmm, okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, so it's a bit cold, so I've just put the fire on, so uh, now I've got to figure out if I can somehow migrate a desk in front of the fire. <laughs> so, just working on the illustrations today, I'm not sure that I'll have time to do anything else. We'll see! Anyway, um, onwards. In front of the fire? Yes you are. Hello, today is Thursday. I've just come outside. It's almost about four o'clock in the afternoon and I've just come out as a bit of a break from um, 
illustrating. I've been sitting now for around about four hours, so yeah, it's time for a break. Um, also, this week, it's not been the greatest week this week, apart from having a migraine, obviously, to start with was not a great thing, but also I seem to be struggling a little bit with anxiety this week, um, just letting little things get to me and anyway <laughs> um, it's the sort of thing that I, I don't know if I should talk about on this vlog it's a bit personal <laughs> um, on the other hand I know that um, particularly for creators but for everyone really we all do struggle with it from time to time um, and it is part unfortunately of having a creative career I know that a lot of full-time creatives do struggle so yeah a bit of a break a bit of a walk around change of scene is much needed at the moment um, Today did start well. I've, I visited Sunset Gallery and actually dropped off some prints to them, which will might be on display over the next few days. I hope you can hear me over these birds. They're amazing, but they're really loud. <laughs> um, yeah, Sunset Gallery here in Port Macquarie are fantastic. They're really supportive of creatives, um, and I, yeah, they're fantastic. Really great treasured friends as well. Um, then I went and I got all the supplies that I need for um, the workshop I'm running this weekend, this Saturday, which is um, acrylic pouring. So um, yeah, so that was good. It's things you need to do. Sometimes that makes me anxious too because it sort of takes time away from illustrating, but that's just how it is. Um, so yeah, it started well and tonight we've got our first meeting for the Creative Arts Collective, um, Creative Souls Collective I should say. <laughs> so uh, that should be fantastic too, it's a, a meeting to get to know everyone and um, yeah, see what we're all sort of interested in. So, yeah, so that's how today will end. So that's Thursday, um, this has not been the most interesting vlog but this is sort of how weeks tend to go. Nature is so beautiful. This is what I'm inspired by. Check out these colours. How can you not be inspired? Okay, hello everyone. It's Friday. Um, last night, the um, Creative Souls Collective, it was a fantastic meeting. It was really great um, meeting some new people and um, catching up with some people that I had met even briefly. Um, and it, it looks like it's going to be a really exciting group. So, um, yeah, I'm, th I'm thrilled about that. Um, if you're in Port Macquarie and you are creative and you want to join up with some other creative people, just search for Creative Souls Collective on Facebook. There's the ad. <laughs> okay, so um, today um, I've got some work to do. Um, obviously, I'm wanting to get this vlog done and uploaded. Um, I also have to set up the studio because tomorrow I'm teaching um, an acrylic pouring class. So, um, which will be fantastic, can't wait for that. Um, yeah, so I have a lot of um, other work to do, admin as well, um, and that's beside all the illustration work that I'm currently doing too, so... <sighs> um, but yeah, so that's me in the paper this week. Um, that was because um, I'm organising a sketchbook um, exhibition for local creatives. Uh, so um, that's telling everyone all about that. So that was kind of exciting and also makes me want to avoid public for a few days. Um, <laughs> um, I started the a few nights ago I, because I was feeling a bit anxious. That's just been how this week has been. Anyway, I started painting um, a bird at night time. It was quite late at night um, and I thought, you know what, I just need to take half an hour out and do some what I like to call um, physical art or traditional art um, and just do get the watercolours out and just do a little painting. So I um, decided to paint just a little bird um, and the time restriction and the size restriction, this is 15 by 15 centimetres um, meant I, I had hoped <laughs> that I would try and loosen my style up a little bit because I, I do want to try and do that um, but it's not it's not that much looser <laughs> anyway that's that one and then um, last night I did this little one again he was pretty quick uh, he took a little bit longer actually um, but yeah pretty quick I don't have a lot of time so um, but that made me decide I'd like to do this every day, so I've set myself a 30 day challenge where I'm going to try and paint some cute little bird in around about half an hour, 30 minutes, um, every day. 
and um, I'm also going to be selling those. So if you're interested, check out my Instagram um, posts and you can comment sold and then you get one of these. Um, and that was today's. So yeah, I think they've turned out pretty well. I think that's my least favorite. <laughs> um, and also happens to be the one that I film myself painting for you. Yeah, I know. Anyway, <laughs> I think that's my favorite. He's cute. So yeah, so that's been a bit of fun as well. I had one from Kelsey. Now, before I go any further, whoa, stop. Um, Kelsey has her own blog. She has her own business called Hey Kels. You guys, you need to go and check it out. You need to go and check out her blog. She's doing some amazing things um, and she makes some amazing things. She's a really talented person. So I will leave that linked in the description below and you can go and check them out. So her question was, she's got a couple of questions here. So she said, um, where do you find your inspiration? Ah, my inspiration, um, it comes from nature. I am very much inspired by nature, whether it's cute animals, which happens a lot, um, or whether it's just the colors, um, or how the patterns, the patterns of nature, totally inspired by nature. If I need to be a little bit inspired, if I need to calm down, if I need to, uh, you know, whatever it's gonna be, relax for a bit, just go for a walk out, outdoors and, um, yeah, I certainly I come back feeling um, much calmer, much more relaxed, um, much more vented, I suppose you'd say, um, and also just totally inspired. <laughs> um, and I suppose what I tell people is that I'm, I am inspired by nature, but um, I sort of translate it through imagination. So that's where you lead to quirky things like this when you get like goldfish which are awesome by the way, have you ever really looked at goldfish? They're amazing. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, writing penny farthings because in my world that is exactly what goldfish do and how do you know they're not when you're not looking? <laughs> anyway, yep, totally inspired by nature. Um, so her other question was, um, how long did it take you to master digital art and did you learn it through your diploma or were you self-taught? Good question. So um, I um, studied a Bachelor of Creative Arts. I didn't learn anything about digital art during that. I learned a lot about traditional art. I learned a lot about um, art history. And um, you know what? It was one of the best things I did. Um, I did it very much for me. So um, before that, I used to be a secondary teacher. So um, yeah, and um, learning digital art, after I finished my degree, I actually then also studied um, graphic design because <laughs> I love studying. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so um, that uh, taught me how to use um, the Adobe software, so the Adobe Suite, so things like Photoshop, Illustrator, um, Premiere Pro, uh, After Effects, InDesign. Um, I learnt a lot there and then also um, I actually worked in um, graphic design with Kelsey, hello, um, <laughs> marketing and graphic design and um, uh, during that time I did a lot of self-teaching through places like um, Skillshare and also YouTube, there's, there's a ton that you can learn. I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, do you have to go and study to learn graphic design if you just want it for yourself? Um, and, and even if you do want to work in the industry, there is a lot that you can learn through these online courses, um, such as through Skillshare and, and even just people on YouTube. So <laughs> learning how to um, paint in Photoshop, um, that is very much self-taught and I have watched um, a couple of YouTube videos, um, but the rest was really self-taught. Um, I think one of the best discoveries I ever found was Kyle T. Webster's brushes and I will leave his website linked. Um, but actually, if you are an Adobe Photoshop subscriber, you can now get those brushes for free, which is fantastic. But they have absolutely changed um, how I paint in Photoshop. Is that all her question? <laughs> um, how long did it take you to master it? I don't, 
You know what? I don't think I have mastered it. I think we're always going to have so much more to learn, um, which actually keeps um, being an artist, being a creative artist, really exciting. We've never learned it all, ever. Don't ever assume that you've got to the place where, you, where you've mastered something, or it's pretty boring because then you don't have anything else to learn and, and to try. Um, and also, the software itself keeps changing and keeps evolving. It's exciting things that are happening all the time with it. Um, so I don't think I've mastered it. Um, how long did it take? My the first book I was illustrating was really the first time that um, I had really tried digital painting. So um, yeah, it's <laughs> it's a process. It's learning along the way, um, which is very much my learning style. So yeah, um, so kind of self-taught, but also having um, done. Graphic design, it really did help as well. I hope that answers your question, Kelsey. That was all over the shop. Um, I also had a question from Beth. And she's asked me, how do you approach drawing a background? Um, if I am completely honest with you, <laughs> um, backgrounds used to scare the bejesus out of me. <laughs> so um, I just didn't, I didn't know how, how to approach them. Um, and I used to, for that reason, I used to just paint um, a lot of my characters on a white background. I actually sort of prefer doing that if I'm painting, um, but there always comes a time when you need to do backgrounds, whether it's digitally or whether it's with traditional media. So um, I have a few ways to do that. First of all, practice, 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 and um, practice drawing, practice all of those things that really does help. Um, Another approach that I use, you know, again, as I said, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, the, the, the background scare me. Um, another approach I have used is to draw the characters and the foreground, um, paint or draw that on one page and then on another page you do your background and then through the magic of Photoshop <laughs> you blend the two together. I've used that quite a bit. Um, it is beneficial in a number of ways that, uh, first of all, if you need to change the background, if the client asks for any changes either to something in the background or to something in the foreground, it's much, much easier just to repaint those things or to be able to change those things in Photoshop. In Photoshop you can also do things like if the background is um, sort of sitting uh, too close, if that makes sense, to the foreground, you can make it a little darker, you can blur it a little, whatever you need to do, you can change the colours a little, um, and that's perfectly allowable. In terms of um, digital media, when I'm uh, painting in Photoshop, so for when I'm doing children's book illustration, uh, I, I tend to uh, do the characters and the background at the same time, um, but in Photoshop I do absolutely everything on a separate layer. So um, I keep all my layers together in folders. So for example, if I'm doing the main character, the main character will have a folder. And inside that folder there's a layer for the main character's hat, skin, um, eyes, top, you know, just all different layers. And what this allows me to do is, um, first of all, it just makes it much easier to work. I can isolate the top if I'm working on that part and then just go ahead and paint and draw to my heart's content without it worrying about disturbing anything else. Um, and second of all, if I need to take that character as a whole and shift them slightly, that's much easier when everything right down to the drawing is all on a separate layer in a separate group. So the background is also in a separate group and on a separate layer um, and um, when I'm doing digital illustration everything has been hand drawn first. So I've nutted out most of you know the, the composition, exactly how I want it to look. I've done all that beforehand um, and then that's been imported into Photoshop. Um, doing that before makes the world of difference later. So. <laughs> um, yeah, look, Beth, I hope that sort of answers your question. You know what? It's, it's often hard to tell people how you work because you do it without thinking. Um, your process is just your process. It's not something that you sit and think about. Uh, and if you have any other questions, please let me know because um, I would love to keep having a little question and answer section each, um, each vlog. Um, so please do let me know with your questions. You can either put them in the comments down below or um, you can send them to me via Instagram or Facebook, whatever is more comfortable for you. 
Um, so yeah, thank you for those questions. So that's it for this week's vlog. Yeah.